What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and thanks so much for tuning in to what is finally going to be this like long promised review of the false lash liner glue pens that have been launching like crazy it seems now. The first that I picked up were from Kiss and then Moitier Cosmetics which do the 10 day lashes that I recently reviewed here on the channel. They also are launching three shades in this and then even more recently one of you guys tagged me in a post from a another cosmetics brand. I'll put uh, the brand, I can't remember off the top of my head, but another brand is launching these in like a wide rainbow of colors. So these things are launching like crazy. And given that I am always looking for any alternative to apply false lashes that isn't traditional, cumbersome, messy, inconvenient, you get the idea, lash glue, I was game to try them. So this video is going to be a demonstration of me applying them, me talking you through how they work, how long they last, and also giving you some tips and tricks along the way. So let's go ahead and dive in. So first let's talk about the Kiss Lash Glue Liners. These, uh, just as a brand, Kiss is, I feel like more widely available. I bought mine from the Kiss website, but you can also get them, uh, well, I think you can check store availability, see where you can buy them physically, if that's your preference on the Kiss website, but I'm sure you can find them wherever Kiss lashes are sold, like Ulta, um, drugstores, CVS, Walgreens, maybe even your grocery store, I'm not sure, but it's also super easy to order them online. And Kiss only has two shades, technically, I guess, available one's clear, so no pigment, and the other is a classic black liner shade. And these, I mean, these specific pens and also just lash liner glue pens as a concept is a game changer in makeup. Like, why haven't we come up with this sooner? Because the thing about these is if you can apply your eyeliner, not even a flick, not even a cat eye, if you can just apply a light line across your upper lash line with a pen, you can apply false lashes easy peasy, no problem. They're revolutionary. I just, my mind is blown. The only thing I was really skeptical about with these was their ability to hold lashes like really strongly. I just thought with something like a liner, you weren't gonna get nearly enough product across your lid to really get tacky and then grab onto that lash and keep it there. But these are actually extra strong hold. I honestly have trouble removing the liner at the end of the day because it is such a strong hold. So the fear should not be whether your lashes will last. It should be how you're gonna get this off at the end of the day because I definitely have to use an oil remover um, the only thing that might get in the way is if you don't apply a thick enough line. I have had that happen where if I, I want a really delicate line in uh, my inner corner and my lash strip goes all the way, like way in my inner corner where I want that thin line, then I will run into some sticking issues where they'll, they'll start lifting in the inner corner. But if you have a line as thick as I do today, no problem. It will stay inner corner to outer corner. Your lashes will last all day no matter what you do, honestly. I mean, maybe swimming. Swimming might be the exception to that. I, I'll be honest, I have not tested them in that in that way, but uh, you tell me. If you tried this like that down below, let us know in the comments. When applying these, you do get a good amount of time to work with them. They glide on smoothly. I was also kind of worried that like, wouldn't the lash tip constantly be sticky and tacky and pulling at your eyelid? No. I don't know how they do it, but for whatever reason it doesn't do that, once the product hits your lid, that's when it starts getting tacky. And it does stay tacky for quite a while. So much so, in fact, that I would not recommend drawing big bold wings with this. I did that a couple videos back and I was, I almost refilmed the video because I could kind of see, I'll see if I can pull a clip from this, um, because I could see myself blinking and my uh, wing sticking to my upper eyelid and like pulling it down as I was blinking because my liner was still tacky. So what I would do is I would take your whatever liner, you know, draw your, your classic big wing and then go in with either one of these, really the black or the clear, or if you have another color in your collection and then go in and draw your line close to the upper lash line wherever you're going to stick your lashes just to avoid any kind of stickiness happening along the rest of your lid. The liner doesn't migrate anywhere like it stays wherever you put it, but it just doesn't always dry down completely maybe ever, not even not even like for a long time, just like ever. And that might be something that bugs people, especially if you do use these for like big graphic lines across your lids that keeps your lids sticking together. But like I said, as long as I keep things relatively thin and just to my upper lash line, these work perfectly. Um, the one downside I wanna mention specifically with the Kiss liners that I have noticed, and I'm glad I held off on my review for as long as I did, even though it's taken me forever, is that my clear liner, there's something defective about the pen itself, 
because it didn't happen with my black liner, but the packaging of my clear liner wants to pop off. And so my clear liner has actually already dried out from Kiss. Nothing is coming out of this thing because I'm constantly catching it with the, the lid just kind of popped a little bit. And so it has just since dried out in the probably three, three or four weeks that I've had this. The black one is still going strong, the clear one, not so much. And again, that could just be a defect with the packaging. Your clear liner might not do this, but either way, just make sure you keep your pens closed tight because these will definitely dry out and dry out fast if they're, if the lid is even the slightest bit ajar. Okay, now let's talk about the Moitier Cosmetics liners. These are really the exact same thing as the Kiss liners, just with the added option of having a brown shade in here, which is what I'm wearing on my lashes today. So you can see that in contrast with like a black or a clear. Um, they sent me these, like I said at the beginning of the video, along with an applicator tool and a set of their lash refills. I believe these are the medium drama level that I prefer from them, but they are the same lashes that they use with their 10 day lashes. So they're not one continuous lash strip, they come in little segments. And recently I got an email from them kind of announcing that they had officially launched these liners. And when I clicked the link in the email, it took me to a page where they had a set available for $29.99, where you get a pen, a set of lashes and uh, an applicator like this. And beyond that, I, I'm not really sure if and where you can buy just the liners individually, because honestly, um, the liners make it so easy that I don't think you need fragmented lashes like this. I prefer using full strip lashes. The ones that I'm wearing today are classic Ardell Demi Wispies, but I've also really been loving the Ardell Faux Mink lashes and I'm set to try many, many more because lashes have become so much easier to apply using these liners. But that's one thing that I do hope to see from Moitier because I've had excellent experiences with the liners that they've sent me but I, I hope that you can buy them individually because I like the uh, option of having just a brown liner, but I don't wanna have to buy it along with their, their specific Moitier lashes. And even their uh, lash tool, it's nice. It's a nice to have to like crimp your lashes together and really press the band into that liner section. But if you have something like this or you just find that you don't need it, you know, again, it's just nice to be able to buy the liner as a standalone if that's all you want. So I will link to what I can find from Moitier in the description box below, but just know the quality itself is very good. Like I said, identical to the, the Kiss lashes. It's just whether or not you can get them individually or not. And then the other brand that I wanna mention, I haven't tried, like I said before, but one of you guys tagged me in a post that I think Trend Mood, Trend Mood posted on Instagram sharing this brand's launch exact same liner pens. They have a clear, a black, and a brown, and then they have a whole rainbow of other shades. So I am very tempted to try those. Um, part of me is tempted, but part of me is like, if I'm not gonna use those colors to create big graphic liners, just knowing how tacky these liners tend to stay throughout the day and how much I hate that feeling on my lids, I can't tell whether it would be really good and beneficial to have a bunch of fun colors in my collection or if it's just best to stick to the colorful liners I already have and then go in with like my clear uh, lash liner pen to, to adhere any lashes I might want to adhere. So I don't know, I'm still pretty tempted to try them, but let me know what you think down in the comments below and let me know if you're gonna try these because uh, seriously, they are game changers. I really wish we'd had these years and years ago when I was first learning how to apply and failing at applying false lashes because I'd probably be wearing a lot more false lashes. It just, it makes it so easy. Of all the lash application methods I've tried, magnetic lashes, 10 day lashes, Lashify, these are my favorite. I am willing to do this every day because it is so, I mean, 20 seconds, 30 seconds level easy. So if that's it. It's nothing but good things. Nothing but good things, but keep your cap on tight. Otherwise they will dry out. So that's all for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye guys.